All right, crew, we are gonna be talking about something really fun today and maybe a little scary, um, but not that scary because you guys have already sold this out and now it's back in again. We're talking shoulder pads, you guys, shoulder pads. I'm here for it. Obviously you're here for it because this is round two of this tank top. And specifically, we are talking about the Sanctuary shoulder pad tee. You guys, uh, this, is, this is mine. I own this, I'm obsessed with it, I love it. Um, and I can't wait to kind of talk you through couple different ways that I'm wearing it and why I love it, especially as somebody who has broad shoulders, kind of a bit like a football player. Um, I like to think that I have strong arms, so it's kind of like, why are you just adding more attention to this situation? But that's why I love a shoulder pad tee, is because I actually think it makes me look smaller. Does that make sense? I just feel like this is like a really nice structured line, looks bold. That's where your eye's gonna go first, and then it just makes your arms look smaller. So. That's actually why I like it. I just think it's so fun of an added basic. And here's another little hot tip, you guys. This tank, which I'm gonna show you in the black, and then we have it in this really pretty like blush cream color, um, under $50. It's such a good steal, and I think the weight of the sanctuary is awesome. Okay, so first look. The funny thing is I actually basically wore this entire look into work today. Um, so I have the sanctuary, um, this shoulder pad tee on. I'm just wearing a black bra because it can sit a little low, which I think is super, it's totally fine. Um, maybe just don't wear your dingiest bra, just something that's a little bit fresher. Um, Cause it does have a little bit of a deeper um, armhole. I'm wearing a large in this, you guys. I feel the most comfortable. It gives me a little bit more room to um, untuck. I tucked the whole thing in and I'm wearing it with a little seven for all mankind. These were in our February catalog and they just hit, and they are so fun. Look at the butterfly, button fly on it. The wash is so, so pretty. I'm doing a 29 in these, you guys, and they feel tight, um, but I think the denim is so soft that as you wear it, it is gonna let go and relax and just feel really yummy and gummy. So if you are in between sizes, like I'm definitely a strong eight, I can kind of swing. I think if you want a little bit more of that relaxed boyfriend look, I would go up a size. Um, but I do think these are relax really pretty. So this is kind of their like straight crop. I think the, I'm 5'8", you guys. I think the length is awesome. It's just a fun new spring denim. Awesome destruction. And then I paired it with my new obsession, which are these Sorel platform sandals. We've had these in for a while and I actually haven't worn them until this week. And I can tell you, I'm so obsessed. And I just love the way they look in the front. If you remember those Teva, like the, the, the little more, here, I'm gonna try them on. Um, these Mark Fishers that kind of take a nod to the Tivas, Tivas. Um, these are just more elevated and I love this platform because it just makes me feel a little bit taller and sexier. Okay, so this is shoulder pad T look number one. I think it's the simplest way to do this. Just jeans and a t-shirt, you're out the door, throw in one little strong necklace, but this is such a great palette to add on a bunch of different layers. So look number one, I'm gonna kind of show you shoulder pad T look number two. All right, look number two. I'm wearing the same tank top, you guys, from Sanctuary. And again, in a size large, this is more of that like blush. It has like a lit, a slight touch of blush to it, but it's kind of this great little like just neutral cream. Okay, lesson number one on this outfit, you do wanna wear a nude bra or maybe nude undies or like a pale pink or a pale color, not a black bra with dark green underwear because it will kind of, it's not see-through, see-through, but you can tell you have dark panties on. So lesson number one. Okay, so this is kind of my casual outside, just an updated, what I love about it is both of these pieces are extremely comfortable, um, but they just have little hits of details. Is that the right, details? That just makes like a basic short and tank that much more elevated. So the shoulder pad again, obsessed with it. Again, I think it makes it, my arms look smaller. And then what I like to do is a half tuck or a full tuck because I'm just going to show you guys this. It has great length on it, but I do think if you were to leave it completely untucked and all the way down, it just makes you look top heavy. So I would throw a half tuck in if I'm doing those jeans again, or because these shorts are so amazing and so adorable and lightweight, like I'm this on a hot, hot, hot summer day or even spring day, if you're more in the Southern warmer states, um, I would throw a, a full tuck in here um, because look at this little bow. How cute is this? This is by Cloth and Stone, you guys. Um, I also love that this kind of brings like diminima, dimin, diminishes, like it like hides your middle and like this cute little bow just brings the eye to the middle. So it goes all the way around. Again, I have nice strong legs and the leg opening is super 
comfortable, easy. I have room. They don't feel tight. I'm wearing a medium in this, you guys. So yummy. And then I wore those Mark Fishers. That's not the best way to show you guys these shoes. Those Mark Fishers, like little upgraded Tebas. And then our little Lispec Sunnies in this like really pretty like tortoise and then the gold. Like how cute is this for like summer, spring, little weekend, outdoor birthday party type of situation. So that's look number two, strong shoulder. And then if you don't want the strong shoulder, I'm going to show you look number three. All right. Option number three, um, as you saw me like quickly fix my hair because it's getting a little wild after trying on all these clothes. Okay, so this option is not a shoulder pad tank top. This is by Ronan Ryan. This is the muscle tank tie-dye, muscle tie-dye tank. We'll put it here, the correct verbiage, but I'm obsessed with this. Number one, the fabric feels awesome. I'm just thinking like this summer, it's going to be fantastic. Um, I love the length on it. I'm wearing a medium, you guys. It's a little bit boxy, so I love it because it's not like clinging to you. I think the tie-dye feels fresh and new. And then, okay, so this is not a shoulder pad tank, but this is like kind of that, what I love about muscle tees, it's kind of that strong shoulder. And this one's like a little exaggerated. So it pulls out a little bit wider so it looks like a shoulder pad's in there. And again, it does the same idea of it without the added height. If you're just like, I can't do that. I've done that. I'm not doing it again. Get yourself a muscle tank like this guy. It has a little um, ruching up in the um, shoulder. So it has a little bit of detail. And again, I just still think it creates the illusion of making your shoulders and almost your waist look smaller. So I have it half tucked. Um, as you can see, a little bit boxier, super lightweight. It has a little um, split right at the hip. Oh, good goodness, you guys, I can't speak today. And then I threw it in, I threw a half tuck into these seven for all mankind shorts. So these are awesome for a white short because they're a little bit thicker as in the fabric. You can't tell that I have green undies on. Um, so I love that. I'm wearing a 29, so it fits a little bit generous. And if you have, if you're kind of like, oh, I'm thinking about the Parker short, I think what I think in white is the Parker short in white, I think sits up just a little bit higher. This rises a little bit lower. So if you don't, and I, when I say a little bit, I'm talking like a quarter of an inch, but it does make a difference. So if you want something that's a little bit lower, this seven for all mankind will be awesome. And again, stronger legs, and I definitely have room through the thigh. Feels so, so good. And then just to make it a little bit elevated and less like, you know, soccer field sideline look, I threw on the little Dolce Vita studded sandal just to give it a little bit of ele elevated, elevatedness. <laughs> um, and then I kind of just popped little white accessories on um, to kind of pull out the white tie-dye. But this guy also comes in like a lemon color, but I think the tie-dye is fresh and um, a fresh, even though we've done tie-dye for like almost two years, but super fantastic. So for all of you non-shoulder pad people, this is an awesome alternative to number one, hop on that trend and then also just give you a new updated basic. So you guys, those are the shoulder pad tanks, except for this one. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna see you next week.